time for another Toplon Shooter. The last time we saw a game from them was Truxton back in December 1989. Twin Hawk is pretty unique in that the entirety of the enemy force is made up of ground-based vehicles like jeeps and tanks. The backstory is that the rebel army you're attacking has no air force, which means you're counter-attacking with the one thing they can't match. This means you never have to worry about colliding with an enemy, only their bullets. The pace is quite slow. I guess it's because the land-based forces are at a bit of a speed disadvantage otherwise. Also, the levels go on forever. In fact, I don't think I ever saw a distinct end or beginning to a level after I started the game. But the really cool thing about Twin Hawk is the quote-unquote smart bomb. Rather than dropping some sort of all-incinerating, screen-clearing firestorm, pressing the secondary fire button brings up a squadron of allied planes. These guys will fly in formation until they get shot down, firing in a steady rhythm. When they do get shot down, if they happen to hit an enemy when they hit the ground, they'll take that poor soul along with them. If you're feeling particularly desperate, you can hit that secondary fire button one more time, and any surviving squad mates will target the nearest enemy in a kamikaze attack. Unfortunately, this nifty little shooter didn't make its way to North America, which is a shame considering how it would have seemed so different to anything else on the market. It was, however, one of the earliest Mega Drive games to see store shelves in Europe which saw scattered, disorganized Mega Drive system launches starting around March 1990. In fact, this makes Twin Hawk unique in another way, the first Japanese Mega Drive game to hit Europe without some sort of preceding US release. Secrets. If you really look at yourself, you will be speechless. What happened to being doctors and teachers? What happened to being your brother's keeper? Nowadays, kids more worried.